GNS3 have released multiple Linux appliances that can run on the GNS3 VM and be integrated with GNS3 topologies. Now a hint that may be useful to you is that when the device boots up, my VNC window is too small. So I close it down and then open it up again once the device is booted up, which then allows me to see the full screen. So I'm gonna log in as osboxes.org. So you may find that useful, it may apply to you, or in your case, it may boot up without a problem. But there you go, I've logged in, my desktop is showing. I'll go to internet, Firefox, to open up a web browser. In this example, it's not connecting to the internet. So if you have a problem like this, in the search, search for interfaces. What we wanna look at are network interfaces. At the moment, I only have a loopback interface. So that's not good, I wanna have additional interfaces. So I'm gonna search for network and select network settings. I need to put in my password of osboxes.org. And what we wanna do here is add an ethernet card. So I'm gonna click add. The device type is ethernet. Configuration is Ethernet zero. I'm gonna click next and allow it to get an IP address via DHCP and click next and click OK. The operating system saves the network configuration and makes some changes such as setting the firewall and activating the services. In my network interfaces, I'm gonna click update and notice I now have a network interface that's been allocated an IP address through DHCP. So I'm gonna click OK, and I'm gonna shut down Firefox and test that I do have an IP address and can ping the internet. So in my window, sudo ifconfig, As you can see here, I do have an IP address and I should be able to ping google.com, which I can, and I should be able to ping other websites, which I can. So what I'll do now is start Firefox once again. And notice I can now get to the internet I can, for example, go to gns3.com and go to various other websites on the internet. So that was an example of downloading, integrating and configuring OpenSUSE or OpenSUSE with a GNS3. Linux once again gives you many choices. You could use an Ubuntu virtual machine, but here's another one if you prefer this version of Linux. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wanna wish you all the very best.